All right, everybody, welcome to another first look here on the Nerd Nest channel. Today, we're taking a look at a game for the Nintendo Switch called Smelter. Um, I had heard about this game um, that it was coming. I saw some screenshots and some PR stuff, um, but didn't really, didn't really dig too much into it because there's just so many other things. Uh, and then I saw a tweet that this game is essentially uh, a, kind of like a spiritual successor to ActRaiser, obviously not by the same uh, people, but it has um, elements of of ActRaiser where you have a platformer, but you also have a kind of top-down strategy game. This one is more strategy uh, than ActRaiser ever was, but man, that got me. Uh, if you want me to buy your game, just say it's like ActRaiser and make it like ActRaiser and I will buy it. So uh, I'm going to take a look today, uh, do a first look of Smelter. Uh, again, my name is Lloyd Hannison from the Nerd Nest. You can follow me on Twitter at Dasme, D-A-S-M-E. And let's jump into this one here on uh, the Nerd Nest Network, or Nerd Nest Channel, rather. Um, so Smelter, uh, you can see it's very uh, pixelated. <laughs> and so we'll jump right into it. Uh, as normal with, with our first looks, uh, we do uh, 15, 20, 30 minutes. Um, and we'll, we'll kind of see where the game takes us. All right, some areas might be able to be tra traversed in different uh, ways using different skills. Uh, so continue. All right. <laughs> this looks familiar. All right. Don't eat apples, folks, or nuclear explosions happen. <clears throat> oh, boy. All right. So Eve could have never predicted the events that would transpire after Adam succumbed to the tempting aura of the forbidden fruits. After watching her beloved Adam consume it and witnessing the great white light fall from the heavens, Eve soon saw the world around her disappear and soon found herself falling through nothing but emptiness and darkness. But not complete darkness, because complete darkness would be way too scary. It was more like a slight darkness. You know, the kind of darkness you see when you close your eyes? Kind of like that. Okay, dig in the humor. We'll see. What? Well, what do you mean, stay focused? I am focused. Haven't you heard of narration before? I'm trying to paint a vivid picture for the audience. How do I do my job and how about... I do my job and you do yours. Fine. Ahem. <laughs> this is uh, not what I expected when I started this game. I'll be quite honest. As she fell, a faint emerald light started to glimmer below her. She did not know what would become of her once she reached that light. And now, this is how her story began. Okay, that's a much better intro. Mr. Narrator, sir. Oh, we're gonna... Oh. I thought she was gonna smack into, like, a pool or hit the ground or something. With, like, a superhero fall. <laughs> Alright. Adam? So I guess you start this game in a bikini. That's, uh... That's a thing. Alright, so B jumps. B jumps. And Y attacks. I like the animation. Um, it's pretty smooth. can't get up there, so in true Metroidvania, I'm going to have to get more power-ups to get up there by the looks of it. Oh, I died. Dang. 
That was a dumb jump. I don't know why I did that. All right, let's keep going. All right, we made it past. Oof. <laughs> Um, this game came out uh, about a week ago-ish, I believe. It's currently the, uh, t as I record this, it's uh, Thursday the 22nd of April, and I'm going to die because I was looking at my watch. Um, so the game came out, uh, I believe, on, I want to say the 17th. That's probably a wrong time. Um, so it's been it's been out for a little bit, um, but uh, it's still very much a new game. So um, if you're looking for something new to play on your Switch... Uh, this is definitely a new title for you to check out. If you like Metroidvanias and Actraiser, apparently. Alright, she... Oh, I've I just noticed that when she does that animation on the other side of the screen, my, uh, my face cam is getting in the way here. Ooh, I just Metroid fell all the way down. Question. Hey! Do I hear footsteps? If someone's up there, help me. Okay. I want to see if I can get up there because I should have fallen in this side. No, I didn't. I doubt there's any items there that I couldn't get first up, though. Looks like... Can I break that? No? Just look different than the other walls. All right. Holy smokes. I knew I was right. Hey, you tippity-tapping up there. I'm down here. Excuse me. This place could uh, come down any second. I don't want my beautiful face crushed. Oh boy, sounds like this place is coming down. I guess it's the end of the road for me. Oh, dang. <laughs> Wanted to jump across. Hey, what is this thing? It took you long enough. But I guess I owe you. How in the world did you even end up down here anyways? Huh, interesting. Very interesting. Some say sp silence speaks louder than words, but you're really destroying the whole expression, aren't you? Just give me a minute. I can read minds. Uh, uh-huh. I see, I see. I can clearly de detect you're looking at your, uh, looking for your boyfriend. I bet I'm right. Am I right? Tell me I'm right. It's gonna take, I'm gonna take that face as a yes. All right, where are my manners? Uh, my name is, uh, Mel, uh -huh. Smelter. Yeah, let's go with that. Sorry, the name my pals call me is kind of hard to say. Full of vowels and uh, throat noises. I'm just a run-a-mill angel. A really good one. Uh, oh, this place is going to actually start coming down. Uh, why ever could that be? Quick, flutie poo with me. Flutie poo with me? Oh no, it's completely normal. Just stand still. Hey, I got armor now. So I'm not just in a bikini. Although this is a armored bikini. So there you go. Wonderful posing and great presentation. Really takes me back. But never mind that. Knock down those blocks so we can get out of here. So, um... When I was reading about this game, people are comparing it to Mega Man X crossed with um, with Actraiser, uh, both games that I love. So uh, I'm, I'm ex really excited to get into this one. Smelter, not much time for dilly-dallying, but as you might have noticed, we've flutie-pooed, <laughs> so now you can wear me. What? Why can't you use real words, Smelter? Uh, what that means is you're not so squishy now because it's amazing ritual my kind made. You see, long ago, when there were more of my kind... Wait, what am I doing? We don't have time for an emotional flashback. Time to get out of this hellhole before this place starts coming down, too. Guess you'll have to learn some stuff on the go. Onwards. Alright, let's uh, let's flutie-poo out of here. Alright, so I hit R? Ah, okay, the R trigger. And if I go... Ah, okay, so I can wall climb. Ah, sweet.
I don't know if there's any reason to kill things other than like it's it looks like it's filling that little uh, purple bubble. No clue what that means, but uh, let's try to figure it out. As we flutie poo our way up here. Oh, what a what a name. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna crank it up just a tiny bit. Because I love this uh music so far. Oh! It's one of these ancient thingamajigs. I think it's called a Klepon? Klepon? Wait, that sounds off. Huh. Well, it'll come back to me. Just tried to smelt it. Uh, smelter smelt ability can manipulate various things that glow green. Enemies can also be smelted when glowing green for more HP. If you see something glowing green, try smelting it. Okay. Oh, so L bumper smelts it. Bravo, you're growing up so fast. Right, upwards and onwards. tried to double jump, which there isn't yet. <laughs> Who knows if there will be, but as of right now, no double jump. Okay, I think I'm going to... I don't know where my camera should go. Maybe down here. You can see part of my face. Because uh, she keeps... She keeps getting in the way. Actually, that's not going to work either. Hmm. All right, we'll just leave it here. Uh, well, well, well. If it ain't my greatest foe, a slime. Time to show you what I'm made of. Go over there so I can get the taste of my smelt blade. Pretty cool name, right? I'll just give it some juice. So let's try executing a smelt blade on these things. Okay, whenever Eve's smelt power gauge is full, Smelter will unleash a powerful attack. Each smelt blade costs three bars. Attacking enemies will refill the smelt power gauge. All right. Oh, cool. I mean, I only killed one thing, though. It would probably be faster if I went up here and killed him myself, but thanks, Smelter. We made it to the exit. All thanks to me. Ah, uh, well, I guess you did help a bit. At any rate, get yourself ready for what's up next, because we're going to the Rumbly Lands. Anywho, let's get out of here. My residents await my return. To the Rumbly Lands we go. Onwards, chop chop. All right, that's kind of the tutorial area. having a late night coffee. Uh, there are various secrets hidden throughout the Rumbly Lands that might help Smelter in his conquest. The Rumbly Lands actually have a prop has a proper name. Smelter just doesn't care enough to remember it. The Divine used to maintain contact with the Guardians, but it's since gone long silent. Okay, so there's a bunch of bunch of little tips and flavor text uh, in the between scene areas. All right, so now we're here in the top down. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached our destination. Welcome to the Rumbly Lands. Now that I can flutie, now that we can flutie poo, you can help me out while I help you find your Adam. But first, let me show you around my magnificent empire. Wait, what the hell happened here? My heart is still here, but where the hell is the rest of my empire? Your despicableness, you've returned? I sure have. I'm sure I was dearly missed. Without question, my lord. More importantly, what in my name has happened to my empire? Explain yourselves. Uh, of course, your large wingedness. You've come just in time. Your beloved heart and the surrounding structures have all been all but destroyed. Your loyal forces have done their best to fend off the enemy, but to no avail. I'm sure there's something you can do to get us out of this dreadful situation. Well, since you ask nicely, I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, my lord. Time to stretch these wings of mine a bit and take care of these guys. Okay, tackling, attacking in the Rumbly Lands. Melter can help defend his Zerms and his Empire by attacking. Alright, so it's a dual stick shooter kind of thing.
Look at this unforgivable mess they've made. My apologies, my lord. This just proves how much your presence is needed here. Your Zerms are losing without you, or are lost without you. If they weren't already, I'd blast those chumps from the grabby domain to pieces again. Not only did they take down one of my Zerm houses, they did a number on the Zerm barracks, too. Yes, your greatness. Again, my apologies. However, as much as we Zerms would love to, I believe there's not much time for a joyous reunion. Right you are, Commander. Time to get this place back into shape. I want to repair buildings, but to do that, I need Helium. To get Helium, I gotta harvest it. When I say I, I mean my Zerm harvesters. This is like... <laughs> this is like a, a Command & Conquer mixed with StarCraft, mixed with ActRaiser, mixed with Mega Man X. They've thrown everything at this game, and I love it. Let's stroll to this fissure over there and summon a Zerm Harvester. Alright, so we're here. Uh, summon a Zerm... Uh, summon Zerms on fissures to start harvesting Helium for you. Okay, so how do I summon? Hold down A, it says. Ah, well, ain't that a sight for sore eyes? There should be more fissures throughout the Rumbly Lands, so we should summon more Zerm Harvesters on them if we want to increase our Helium harvesting speed. Although, we, uh, we'll need to make sure they're protected since baddies sometimes like to try to take them down. Anywho, now that we have some income, let's spend our first Helium to repair the damaged buildings. <clears throat> Repairing structures. Structures that need to be repaired will have this symbol. Smelter can spend Helium to cast repair on his structures and other important structures, such as occupied ruins while he does other things. Okay, repair the Zerm Barracks and Zerm House. Okay, hold down R? Or just hit R? Okay, just hit the R, R bumper. Okay, so that's repaired. We'll repair this one as well. Okay, so you can see at the top of my screen, I have 445 of 500. It keeps going up and down as I'm spending it and gaining it. Commander, yes, your greatness. Now that I've so graciously saved the day and repaired my buildings, which you failed to protect while I was away, I'm sure some of my Zerm forces are ready to it uh, to get back to work. Of course, they're ready and awaiting your command. That's what I like to hear. Time to call some Zerms over to occupy this Zerm barracks so that they'll so that they'll fight for me. Okay, call three Zerms to the Zerm barracks. Okay, hit Y to call a Zerm. Alright, so three of them have been called. The, the, uh, perfect! These Zerms should keep things pretty safe for now. Your magnificence! Can't you see in the middle of the tutorial? What is it? My apologies, just wanted to inform you that while you're away, we managed to gain access to Goombor. Oh, well that's good news. At least you managed to do something while I was gone. Your words are too kind, my lord. Additionally, we confirm the existence of a Doma Stone inside. By retrieving it, we expect that not only will we be able to restore some of the power you lost before being banished by the Guardians, it'll also remove the barrier from blocking your way to the Garabi Domain. This day just keeps getting better. I think it's time to head in there and find that stone. Getting it will further secure the safety of my empire, which will make it easier to find your boy. Trust me. Keep watch here, Commander. We'll head out to Gumbor and check it out. Yes, my lord. Alright, enter Gumbor located north of the Smelter's Hearts. Alright, let's uh, hold down A to enter. So, just like an Actraiser, um, you have kind of like an over an overarching view of things as you do your tactical stuff, uh, but you can then land to do the platforming, uh, which is what we're doing right here. Which is great. Gumbor, the training grounds. Ah, Gumbor, this takes me back. I was once, tr it was once a training grounds for the Garabi forces. Most of it was made up of these little guys called Bloxes, Bloxies? Ah, whatever you call them. And we're in luck, it looks like there's still some around. Let's go give them a nice smelter hello. We we'll also need to find the Gar Garabi Doma Stone, which should be somewhere on these grounds. All right. I like how these little guys have like little suits on. Makes me uh makes me smile. Alright, forges! 
all domains have them, and I can uh, do even more by absorbing their power. Try hopping up on that one and see what happens. Wait for it. Oh, dang. Woo! Bam, do you feel that? The power of the forge is rushing through me, which also makes you nice and beefed up. Let's see if we can find more forges while we look for that stone. Also, let's give the next guy you see a whap. Something tells me we can deal out heavier hits now. All right, new skills unlocked. Earth Basher, a Face Pummeler, and Swipe. Uh, a to check out the skill tree. Oh, wow, what is this? So up in Y, 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 and down in Y. Okay, wow. So there's skill trees or unlockable skills in each domain, I guess? Interesting, okay, we'll see, oops. Oh wow, I'm much more powerful now. So let's do up and Y, uppercut, down and Y is like a ground pound. And then there's your three hit attack, which you can also do in the air, which is sweet. All right. <clears throat> ah, I was like, they have little green marks. I'm assuming that I can do something with them. Which I can. Don't. Did not mean to fall. Oof, that was a close one. Nothing else up there? Nope. All right, let's keep going. Okay, this is a... Um, these are checkpoints, I think. That's what he said, right? So there's the Mega Man-esque uh, platforming. <laughs> Ooh, that was a close one. Dang it. Oh! Get back up there. The music is fantastic. Uh, this is giving me... Oh, dang it. Took some damage. Uh, this is giving me... Ooh, looks like there's a secret area up there. Uh, this is giving me definite Mega Man vibes. Ooh, did I find a secret? I hope. Give me more more powers, I hope is what, what it's gonna do. Don't get yourself killed. Okay. Oh dang. Oh dang! What the hell? What am I am I playing uh Am I playing like Celeste or something here? Oh dang, I hit the jump button, didn't register. Okay, so these are like like one one hit death kind of situations. Oh, except for through enemies. Okay, that was dumb. Spending too much time talking, not enough time jumping or grappling or not dying. Oh yeah. Oh. You know what I was about to say? I was about to say we got this. <laughs> and then I walk off and die. You know, typical, right? Oh. Let go of that wall. That was a close one. Oh no. I keep I keep letting go of the wall thinking I'll keep um I'll keep flying down slowly. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Oh jeez. Those little guys are annoying. No, come on. Okay. We're, we're at 24 minutes. I usually like to do about 30 minutes. Uh, we'll, we'll try this a couple more times. And if I'm not uh, not beating it, 
we will uh, move on to something else. I don't want to waste all my time here. Alright. We got this. <laughs> Second time's a charm, I guess. Alright, there we go. Trial cleared. So this was a, a trial area. Alright. <clears throat> so what did we get? We got a... Uh, well, ain't that the shiniest token I've ever seen? Jeez, do you know anything? We can we can use these things at special forges scattered around the rumbly lands in the three domains. Offering one of these to the silly forge gods will makes our fluty poo strong. Why does that have to be the name? Activating different forges lets you do way more cool stuff, and it means more power for me, which will be really helpful later. Let's swing by a forge later and see what we can get. Okay, let's do it. All right, so we we survived our first challenge. That's cool. It looked like there was a second one up here. Oh, that's just the exit door. Ah, okay, I get it, I get it. Makes sense. We now have a token, and I'm taking damage. All right. Oh, another forge. What do we get here? Give me a super jump, super jump. I feel like, well, you have a spring in your step now. Let's see if we can jump up to that ledge. Okay, new skills unlocked. Blast off and wall grab. Okay, wall grab. R during a wall slide. Oh, you can completely stop and hang. Okay, that's awesome. And blast off. Hold down, down and B and then release. Oh, okay, so it's like a little launch kind of thing. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. And then we can hold on to the wall and just float there forever. Like it. I like it a lot. Oops. Ah, jeez. I'm taking too much damage here. You found an apple core. Collect apple cores and use them to upgrade Smelter's heart to get additional bonuses for his empire and structure upgrades. Okay, so these single player or are platforming areas, single player, not the word I was looking for. Um, um, they they hide a lot of upgrades. So if you want to fully upgrade your uh, your character, you're gonna be doing a lot of stuff in these things. Which I, which I dig, I dig a lot. Oh yeah, we have, uh, we have our purple power. What, what was that called again? I can't, can't remember. Did not mean to do that, but that worked out in the ends. Did it go crouch and tagger? Nice try there. Oh, it fully heals you as well. What's this? I don't know what that did. Maybe it gave us the purple power. Or maybe it gave us nothing. Or maybe you have to beat them all. Who knows? We will figure it out together. Man, this is giving me so many, um, like, nostalgia vibes. It, it's like, it feels like I've played this game before, but I have, obviously haven't because it just came out. But, man, I'm a big, big fan. Ooh, that's a big heart. Is that what they're called? Oh, it's a healing heart. Ah, okay. I should have saved that for when I was injured. Uh, another secret. Come on, you gotta gotta keep looking for these things. You guys probably didn't even see that because my face is covering it. So my apologies. Kaiser Blitz 1986 ZX F Mama. Okay, I don't know what that is. I've never seen anything like this before. And what are those weird scribbles? Huh, this could be useful later. So let's keep a lookout for others. 
Let's see if you guys uh, could have seen what I saw. Oh yeah, you could. Just to the to the left of my face, there was that little platform. So I can see that there's going to be need to um, replay a bunch of these levels over and over uh, as you get more powers to get all of the upgrades that are available. Okay, I wonder if I can get up there. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It's this, that's the way out. Okay, I want to go down there. I want to see what that orangey thing is. I think it's what everything was giving me. They were giving me these uh, little orange nuggets. I think that charges up my purple power, but we'll see. Let's uh, we'll use our purple power and we'll see what happens. Nope, doesn't give me purple power. I don't know what it gives me. But not what I needed. Killing these guys will, though. Oh, it's gems or shards at the top. There was a little thing that said 115 at the top. Okay, so it's I guess that's currency that you're gonna need to uh, uh, to spend to to do your upgrades or whatever. Okay, it looks like there's another challenge area up here. Uh, I'm gonna go to that challenge area. Uh, we're sitting at 31 minutes, so I think that's gonna about do it for my first look video here. Um, but man, man, I oops, wrong, wrong button. Uh, I love 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 this game so far let's go to this challenge and just see what it looks like so i've gotten one of three coins and one of three apple cores is what he called it right okay don't get spotted oh okay All right, we'll try this one one more. Yikes! Ah, I jumped too quick. Just made it. Yeah, that was that was dumb. All right, well, this one's gonna take me some time to uh, complete. I think this is a great place as any to stop. Um, this is a really, really interesting title. Uh, I'm a big, big fan of this game. Um, here, let's let's hit. Uh, let's go to the oh, let's go to the glossary and see if there's anything here. Oh, okay, nothing. Um, this is a really cool game. Um, as I said, platforming mixed with uh, top-down simulation. Uh, apparently the strategy game uh, that you're gonna be doing, you're creating a lot of units and an attack, very much like StarCraft or, or uh, Command & Conquer, those types of top-down uh, real-time strategy games, uh, which I love. Uh, but then the platforming, the Mega Man X-like powers that you gain, this game is awesome. I'm a big fan of Smelter. I am loving my time with it so far. I can't wait to get further into it. So hopefully uh, this helped. If uh, if you appreciated the video, if you liked the video, please leave us a comment below with a thumbs up. If you love the content we produce here on NerdNest, make sure to hit subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications, whether it's uh, Stadia content, Nintendo content, Xbox content, PlayStation content. Uh, there's going to be stuff for everybody here. So uh, hopefully that helps uh, That helps you make your decision on whether you can subscribe or not. Uh, my name is Lloyd Hannison from the Nerd Nest. You can follow me on Twitter at Dasme, D-A-S-M-E. Would love to hear from you there as well. And that's going to about do it for this first look uh, here on Nerd Nest. So have a great rest of your day, everybody, and we'll talk to you here on the next one.